To understand how heat is impacting parts of Atlanta more than others, we turn to Dr. Marshall Shepard with the University of Georgia. He has been extensively researching this topic for decades. Uh, we know that temperatures are increasing, heat wave intensity and frequency is increasing. We know that there are places that are hotter than other places. The change in temperature that Dr. Shepard was referring to is something called the urban heat island effect. Let me help you visualize what that means. Throughout our city, we have a lot of different land uses from smaller neighborhoods and parks to bigger skyscrapers and how the temperatures respond during the day and night changes based on those land uses where we have those smaller neighborhoods, tree lined streets. Those trees help to keep those areas cooler throughout the day and night. But if we step over here to where we're in the concrete jungle with the tall skyscrapers, concrete and asphalt everywhere, those surfaces help to absorb and re-emit heat, keeping those places in the city hotter throughout the day and night. That's what Dr. Shepard's team wanted to investigate further. They use satellite data to look at which areas of the city are hotter than the others. What we have found is that certain populations, particularly communities of color, some of our poor communities, are disproportionately living in the hottest part of Atlanta's urban heat island. But there was a trend in those maps that Dr. Shepard noticed a connection to. Our analysis shows clearly that those hottest areas line up very closely with those grades in the HELOC categories associated with redlined communities. So the grades that are lowest were the areas that were most redlined. And those most redlined areas, guess what? Historically are the hottest since 1940. Dr. Shepard refers to this as thermal injustice. How can we fix these inequities? There are some solutions that we know work. Just increasing the amount of vegetation uh, will cool uh, urban heat islands. Changing the reflection of surfaces rather than dark pavements, perhaps lighter pavements reflects more of the sun's energy. Trees provide shading. But we also need to rethink how we engineer cities of the future. We've actually proposed radical new ways to engineer cities for the future to redistribute or repurpose that heat. In Atlanta, meteorologist Melissa Nord, 11 Alive News.